Hello and welcome to Talk Time. My guest today is the one and only Neil Nonkindry, conductor, concert pianist, music composer and songwriter who has mesmerized audiences all across the world with the Shillong Chamber Choir he founded in 2001. Neil Nonkindry, welcome to my show. Thank you very much. You went off to England as a young man, much against the wishes of your father, who was a minister in Meghalaya. And uh, you know, you have come back and created history because you went to study music at none other than the Trinity College and the Guildhall School of Music, uh, one of the two of the best known places where one can learn music. It's a long journey and uh, how do you look back? Yes, it's true. I went against my father because my father initially was a bureaucrat. Okay. So yeah. any father in the 70s and 80s wanted your son to either be a doctor or a bureaucrat yeah. or an engineer. Join the IS? Yeah, something like that, you know, mm -hmm. something more respectable than being a musician, as it were. And, uh, but I wanted to go and take a risk mm -hmm. because music and anything in the arts Can be very uh, uncertain. is always uncertain for any parent. So his, his uh, fear for me was very genuine, but so was my risk taking. It was very genuine, you know, I, I felt, you know, I was born into music. Was it a smooth departure from home for England? No, mm -hmm. it was a very uh, bumpy ride. Okay. Not, the, not the flight, but the- Absolutely, just the, just the, the exit the, 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 yeah, from the Shillong. The exit from Shillong mm -hmm. was, uh, thing, but we made up before he left, because he didn't know I, was leaving till about a week before I left. He found out from somebody else. So he, you know, he was really angry with me. But then we made up and, you know, we have a very good relationship now. Mm -hmm. And of course, I went to Trinity College in London and the Guildhall. They are one of the well-known colleges in London. And, uh, but I must say my, you know, recently I did a, uh, an interview for a magazine, a very well-known magazine. And they asked me, who did I learn the most from? And I'm, I must say, with all respect to the colleges, my main mentor was a woman who died about a year ago called Katerina Volpa. Mm -hmm. So she was my main mentor. Uh, she's, he, she was from Vienna. At Trinity? No. Uh, this was a private teacher. Private, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She was like my guru. I see. Guruji, or what the, you know, what, what they say. Um, so she was my main mentor. Now you see, I mean, you passed out or you did uh, successfully completed your course at Trinity as well as the Guildhall. And then uh, you became a concert pianist. You toured the entire UK and you already had made a name for him yourself. Uh, and suddenly you decided that you should come back to Shillong. Uh, that was also uh, perhaps crazy because uh, a concert pianist, Western classical music, yeah. and uh, not much of a scope in India. Yeah. In fact, I was driving to Guwahati with my friend. My friend was in the car saying, do you remember, Neil, I told you in, I think it was in 1999, oh, about that time. She said, remember I told you when you came on a visit, I'd come on a visit. She said, Neil, don't come back to India and don't go to Shillong because there's no okay. future for you. Uh -huh. So she said, but look how things have turned out. Now, let's, let's be a bit more realistic. I don't want to romanticize this whole thing that I came back because, you know, I felt there was a need here. Uh, I think I came back on holiday. I came back from England on holiday. After several years. After actually. several years, and I just, suddenly it clicked. Then again, I took another risk. No, but I took a risk going, and I took a risk coming back. True, and you came back, and you uh, charted out a territory for yourself, which is not treated uh, by very many musicians. You decided to form the a choir, uh, and you named it the Shillong. Chamber choir and chamber choir is something uh, not very very uh, popular or no. I would say not very common no. in India no. No. and it was associated with church music yes. and an extremely difficult task yeah. to delink it yeah. from the church yeah. and Meghalaya is a predominantly Christian state. Uh, how did it do it? Well, basically to put it this way, I think I had everything against me. Absolutely, because, you know, yeah. I, I can imagine. Uh, first and foremost, I was trained in Western music. I came back to India, and that was not the done thing in 2001 or two. And then uh, the second thing is within India to go to the Northeast, where we know things uh, until recently haven't functioned very well here. Yeah. So then, um, then I chose a genre 
uh, which is non, non, non-existent in the popular industry, which is a word choir. So I don't know how it happened, but, but I, I just, I don't do things for effect. You know, I did it because I believed in it. When you made your debut performance yeah. at Pinewood Hotel on New Year's Eve yeah. 2001, yeah. Uh, did you realize or did you have some kind of, what thoughts had crossed your mind? Did you, did you imagine that this Silong Chamber Choir, which was making its debut, is one day going to become popular? Forget about uh, the world or the country, the, whether it is going to be popular no, not even in Shillong. Yeah, in Shillong. Even, yeah. I didn't even think I was going to be accepted in Shillong. You know, we had difficulties selling tickets for the first concert because everybody said, why should we come for a show uh, with the word choir? Because we can hear a choir for free on Sunday in absolutely, church. Absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah. I remember the tickets were 100 rupees then. And we found it really difficult, you know. But then after that first show, then I think people just, you know, were amazed with the stuff we were doing. And what was the turning point after that? Uh, how um, did you become popular? I, I know it's well, a, deep, a yeah. very, very big struggle. It's a very uh, difficult question. Actually, you see, my whole journey has been very organic. It's never been something that happened suddenly. So, you know, I started playing the piano when I was very small. I remember uh, Mr. Bhupin Hazarika himself, mm-hmm. you know, when I met him, he said, oh, I remember you in your concert. So I thought Shilong J. McGuire concert, you know. He said, no, I remember you when you were six. Okay. So he came to my first uh, public recital in Shillong, and God bless him, he's not here anymore. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I remember him very fondly. Was it a public? uh... Yeah, it was a public concert. So, you know, I started very young. So everything about me has been very gradual. So even with the choir, so the first step was that concert. Then it, you know, just when, then the next step was we we did a concert in Guwahati. Absolutely, yeah. And so we have never been a 10-day wonder thing. So for you, for me to answer that question is very difficult. It's been very organic, very, very slow. Absolutely. On that note, we shall go for a short break now, but stay on. When I come back, I shall continue my conversation with Neil Nonkindry, composer, singer, songwriter, and of course, concert pianist and conductor. (laughs) 